All right. Welcome, everybody. Congratulations on uh, being the first in-person GitOpsCon. Woohoo! That's you. Yes. Uh, all of you were very brave to make it through LA traffic and what not to get here. Uh, believe it or not, this is actually the biggest co-located event at KubeCon. Um, and I know that's very strange considering, like, there's not that many people in this room compared to KubeCon normally, but this is actually the largest yeah. uh, event that's happening. Uh, so, uh, I'm Dan Garfield. I'm the co-founder and uh, chief open source officer of CodeFresh and uh, a co-chair uh, of the GitOps Working Group. Scott? And I'm Scott Rigby. I am in developer experience at WeWorks. I'm a, uh, I'm a maintainer of the Flux project and the Helm project and um, also the Open GitOps project with Dan yeah, and with right. a number of other people in this room. So, and online. That's right. Uh, so um, Open GitOps and the GitOps Working Group is an official uh, project within the CNCF whose mission is essentially to create a uh, set of principles and guidelines and best practices around GitOps. Um, and it was started, uh, oh, actually, we have an announcement. We do have an announcement. Do you know, are we seeing Yeah, no, the they're, they're seeing it. They're seeing okay, it. good, yeah. good. Um, it's like being in 3D is so weird right now. Uh, yeah, so uh, the big announcement, which is just helpful for folks to uh, build on top of, is um, the GitOps principles and glossary have a full release, which was our milestone to do that before KubeCon. Um, so yay, that's good. Um, it's not super different from what you've seen before. Um, maybe we should just go through the slides and show them real quick. Yeah. Uh, we can, let's do those first then. So yeah. first of all, first of all, uh, these all deal with the desired state and how you handle it. And the first principle is that the desired state must be declarative. So uh, no procedural um, implementations essentially. Yeah. And there's just a really, there's a one sentence thing. So we should, we should actually just say it out yeah, loud. Sure, is that say it. A system managed by GitOps must have its desired state expressed declaratively. Um, the second is, Let's see, version and immutable. So desired state is stored in a way that enforces immutability, versioning, and retains a complete version history. You know, reasonable. Uh, pu pulled automatically. Um, software agents automatically pull desired state declarations from the source. So the most important thing is that you've actually got agents that have access to your, your version desired state. And uh, continuously reconciled. So software agents are continuously observing the actual system state and they're attempting to apply the desired state. And that's it, and the, the, uh, there is a glossary that goes along with these. Um, so the principles themselves were, okay, so this is an effort by, <laughs> uh, so, so, so I didn't mean to downplay that because this is an effort over the past six plus months with people from many different organizations, uh, companies, other you know, non-corporate organizations to try to really understand how we can simply word these in a memorable way for folks um, while also having some rigorous precision under the hood too. So we've, at, we've moved most of that precision to the glossary. And um, the goal of, Dan was saying that the Open GitOps project, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's now a, um, a CNCF project, but the, the goal of it is um, to be the home for the lasting stuff. So all working groups in CNCF are short-lived. They're supposed to be short-lived. Um, the GitOps working group is, will continue, um, at least until it's no longer needed. Um, it guides, you know, it helps to organize events like this right now. It helps to guide um, the Open GitOps project. But the project, it's supposed to hold any lasting programs, documents, and code that are GitOps related, uh, including things like if there were events going on, the GitOps working group should be helpful, or excuse me, the Open GitOps project and OpenGitOps.dev, the website, mm -hmm. should be announcing those events. Yeah, um, we have uh, put a lot of work into these these principles, and while we were able to just talk to them in about 30 seconds, which is how long it takes to just read through it, there's actually a lot of deep wisdom in these ideas and these principles, um, with over 96 different interested parties involved, tons of co-authors, over 60 different companies involved. Uh, what, we, what we looked at with GitOps is really taking the best practices and best knowledge of years and years of DevOps experience and putting them into something that is very workable, very practical, and very impactful for organizations. 
And what we've seen is that as people start to adopt these principles, they tend to deploy software faster, more reliably, they have fewer regressions, uh, and this has, been, this has been what we've seen. And so now that we've had these principles in place um, and they're easy for people to follow, I think a lot of people are actually surprised to find out that they're maybe not doing as much GitOps as they thought. Uh, we had this experience just uh, a few weeks ago where Kostas Kapilonis, one of my colleagues, was giving a talk on GitOps and he referenced these principles. And before the talk, he asked people to raise their hands. How many of you are doing GitOps today? And it was like 60, 70% of the audience was doing GitOps. It was really good. Then he explained what GitOps was. And then he asked again, and it turned out it was more like 5% of the people were like, oh, uh, I'm using Git. I thought that was the whole thing. And it turns out there's more to it than that. Yeah. Uh, so to explore those topics, we have a pretty amazing lineup today. Yep. Uh, we've got Christian Hernandez, who's going to be kicking off after us, uh, giving a keynote um, coming from Red Hat. Uh, We've got w w some other talks. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> we're gonna just announce people as as they as we go before they before they pop up. I know um, Chick Fil A is, is gonna be speaking. No word yet if they're uh, gonna be serving lunch or <laughs> I don't know if the venue allows that. But I'm you know knock on wood. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, I want it to be. Um, and uh, we should recognize the sponsors as well and organizers of the event. Um, yes. GitOps. Uh, the GitOps Working Group was founded uh, in a partnership with Amazon, Azure, CodeFresh, GitHub, Red Hat, and of course, Weaveworks, uh, which uh, the whole purpose of this is to be vendor neutral. Uh, within, you know, Weaveworks has Flux, a uh, popular uh, implementation of uh, GitOps, and, and CodeFresh has been working uh, quite diligently on Argo. So there is representation of other open source projects as well as other vendors, um, and many of those are sponsors today. Um, oh, should we call the diamond sponsors and all of that as well? Yeah. So there's or all the sponsors. So AWS. AWS, Weaveworks. Um, Red Hat. Red Hat. There's also then CodeFresh is sponsoring and yes. also. Um, there's one more and somebody's standing in front of the sign. I was trying to see it. <laughs> I'm like, Did who you is, move a little bit to the right? I'm like, who is sponsoring? Thanks. Oh, HashiCorp. I'm so sorry, right, HashiCorp. That was, I knew where I was thinking it was. That was Thank not you. a secret disc. Uh, we love <laughs> HashiCorp. Um, yeah, so that's really cool and thank you. Um, there are some announced. Oh, how are we doing for time, by the way? We have two minutes. Two and a half okay, minutes. great. So, thank you. So, there are some announcements that are important at the beginning of anything like this to say that um, there are. Uh, so, we announced the 1.0 version. Um, we have some events coming up. And also, if other people in the audience want to announce GitOps related events after these, that's totally cool. Please do. Um, uh, so there's, I know there's the GitOps one-stop shop. That's coming up really soon, so I'm mentioning that first. That's October 20th. Um, go to GitOpsStays.com for that. Um, then there is ArgoCon. ArgoCon's coming up in December. That's a virtual event, and it's uh, free to register. So it's just, if you just Google ArgoCon, you'll find it right away. Yeah. And there's, uh, there's also, you know, of course, there's this event. Uh, the, that, uh, there's KubeCon NA 2021, not only in, uh, for GitOpsCon this co-located event, but there's also um, there's also other GitOps related talks throughout the conference. Um, that's not that's not only today. Um, there are booths. There is the Flux booth. There's the there's a booth for Argo. There, yep, there's, there's a Flux booth. There's an Argo booth. Of course, Code Fresh, Red Hat, WeaveWorks. Yep. They all have booths. The company booth. Um, so go go check those out and see yep. what they're doing, and uh, it should be. Pretty exciting. Yeah, we'll have Lots people on the ground. Um, yeah, because we are in 3D, so there are actual folks to talk to. So please take advantage of the fact that you're here for the folks in pe person. And for anyone listening to this out there somewhere, uh, there's also virtual participation in those booths too. So Now, uh, we do have a very tight schedule. And because this is a hybrid event, there are some virtual talks. And the way that this works is when the time is up for an in-person speaker, it doesn't matter if they're still speaking. The virtual talk will just start playing. So uh, that means we better get off the stage. So without further ado, let's introduce Christian. Thanks, Christian.